Now, as horrible as all these circumstances are, I would be horribly remiss to not bring out that there are heroes in this story. Of course, there was loss of life. Of course, there are grieving families right now, and one of those grieving families belongs to one of the heroes who lost his life trying to save others. Now, I want to introduce you to this person who, by the way, is an actual Alabama native. So not only is he an American hero, he is also a hometown hero. So this is a picture of the hero. This is a guy named Joshua Caleb Watson. He is 23, a fellow Caleb. He actually went by his middle name. So a fellow Caleb, that hits a little close to home for me as well. He is from Enterprise, Alabama, and was a recent graduate of the United States Naval Academy, just fresh out of the academy. And what happened, and the reason that we honor his sacrifice, is because after being shot multiple times, Caleb went to go find help. Not for himself. You would think that the first thing that you would do when you got shot multiple times by a terrorist is you'd start hunting for a paramedic, Or you'd start looking for somebody, even if they're not a paramedic, to try to close up your wounds, to find cover. Or, if nothing else, just stay down and act dead and hope that they don't notice you and wait for medical assistance to arrive. That was a, those were just several of the options that Caleb had. And, really, could you blame him for doing any of those? I mean, the man did just get shot more than once. But you see, Caleb did something else. Caleb, with multiple gun wounds, runs to find help, not for himself, to save others. You remember that I told you that this terrorist, this piece of human debris, met his end at the other side of the firearm of a sheriff's deputy? The reason they were able to get to him so quickly, the reason that there are only three people that were killed and eight people that were wounded in this attack is because the sheriff deputies found him pretty quickly. And the reason that he was found so quickly is because Caleb found them and showed them, not pointed them to in the right direction, is at least that's not the implication I got from the story that I read, showed them where the attacker was. Now, Perhaps he would have died anyway. That's a very real possibility. Perhaps, as injured as he was, there was nothing that he could have done. And that's a very likely scenario. And it's very possible that he knew that. But even if that's the case, even if him showing these first responders where the trouble was, was not an act of self-sacrifice and he, he would have died either way, we greatly commend that he chose to use his last moments on this earth trying to save the lives of others. Caleb Watson is a hero. And he grew up in the little town in South Alabama of Enterprise, just like many of you in the listening audience right now. I've been to Enterprise I don't know how many times, just like any other little town in Alabama. I went down there because I was helping some of their FFA teams with the debate contest. I mean, it's that mundaneness that really brings it into us and and hits home. And I think that the message that we should take away from that is that this is a guy with an upbringing probably very similar to the vast majority of us in the audience today. Just a kid from a small town that was patriotic and wanted to serve his country and wound up going to the Naval Academy. And yet, in one of the worst circumstances a human being can find themselves in, being confronted with death, he chose to use the last moments of his life, not selfishly, not worried about himself, but worried about his brothers that were in danger. And with his last effort, decided to make a difference for them. 
Our prayers go out to the Watson family. And Caleb, we commend your heroism, and it inspires us to remember that even with humble beginnings, we too can be heroic. Normally, this is the part of the video where you would expect me to ask you to like the video and subscribe to the channel, but the truth is, I don't really care whether you do or not. In fact, you know what? Don't subscribe. It's not like there's a lot of really important stuff going on in the world in the state of Alabama that you should probably be aware of. So, yeah, go ahead and subscribe. Or don't. I don't really care. Reverse psychology. Boom.